The reason I chose public health was because as an engineer, I was taught to make incredible things. But what I wasn't taught was how do you get these resources to the people that need them? What excites me most is being able to put together everything that I've learned here at Syracuse University from both my engineering degree and uh, my public health degree to one day become a pediatrician, uh, particularly in pediatric emergency medicine. I got two amazing opportunities uh, through Falk College. One of them was um, drug policy work in uh, Amsterdam through the Papadoua group of the Council of Europe. I got to meet a lot of amazing people from all over the world, and I got to see very different viewpoints when it came to drug policy development and the different policies that other countries have. With my Global Health Elective, uh, Refugee Health Populations, I was able to work with refugee families in the Syracuse area and identify uh, certain social determinants of health. One of the best experiences I've had so far uh, was actually being able to publish as a co-author in a textbook which uh, not many people get to do uh, at such a young age. And it was really because of uh, the amazing faculty members here. I really like the research coming out of here. A lot of faculty members are amazing at what they do and they're top of their field. What makes Syracuse University so special is the people that you find here. I never actually heard of public health prior to coming here, so it was kind of refreshing to hear about it. I was originally a biology major, and I realized that something was missing, and it turned out to be the human element. When studying public health, you're required to assess a person's whole well-being, and that includes various environmental and personal aspects. That's something that various professors touch on because they understand that a lot of their students are pursuing careers within the medical field. So originally, I really wanted to use public health as a foundation to go to medical school, but then I totally fell in love with what we were doing in public health, and it made me more so want to look into public health law because my dad's a lawyer. I would love to be an epidemiologist specializing in infectious diseases in developing nations because of their lack of access to health care. I'm now looking at graduate schools and hopefully becoming an epidemiologist or biostatistician and working with the government. I hope to work in government and uh, help shape health policies. When I was a child, my family did not have health insurance, so by going into this public health program, I want to help people understand where to go so they can get the right care when needed. In the classroom for public health, you're learning a lot of theory, and it's important for you to go out into the community and actually be a part of it. For my capstone for policy studies, I interned at ACR Health, and I got to see what a nonprofit health agency was like. I also worked for ACR Health in the syringe exchange program to combat the opioid crisis. My internship is at the American Red Cross. I do presentations on how to prepare and respond for emergencies. So I start at the third grade level and then I go all the way up to older adults. Being able to kind of do hands-on work was definitely a cool aspect to do as a sophomore in college. Syracuse University Ambulance is a student-run organization, completely volunteer, and is overseen by a full-time paramedic. I'm the one overseeing the entire organization of almost 80 members. We respond to basic life support calls on campus and the surrounding communities. All of the things that we do within public health and the relationships that they help us create and sustain translates to everything else that we do. Public health program prepares you better than any other program to enter the workforce immediately. SU has really made me confident and pursuing any opportunities that come my way after graduation. Syracuse has done a very good job in supporting me throughout the way and allowing me to feel confident going into these next steps. public health. Public health is just that, promoting the health of the community. Our primary focus is on illness prevention and health promotion. We in fact have one of the first bachelors of science in public health in New York State. We're very proud of that. It's one degree but there are multiple career paths. We certainly have our 
traditional public health type careers, clinical health, healthcare administration, but our students also acquire a skill set that translates into other sorts of career fields, business and marketing, law and public policy, health informatics, nutrition, education prevention, sometimes with addiction and behavioral health. The Addiction Studies minor provides students with all of the coursework that they need to become a credentialed prevention specialist. Some want to do work with women and children. Some want to do work with immigrant populations. There are a lot of people out there that have very different interests and they want to pursue them. Public health allows you to do that. You don't have to stick with just one specific sector. You can branch out to others. The students that come to us are from diverse populations and they will work in a diverse world. Students are placed in agencies all over the community, the region, throughout the United States, and even internationally, to now put all that theory work to practice. I taught English to older adults who recently immigrated over to the U.S. At the American Red Cross, I work as an intern in the Disaster Cycle Services. It just so happened in my 300 level class that the VA was an option, and my family has a long history of being in the military. I met with the doctor twice a week. We traveled all across upstate New York to these veterans' homes. It's really just about putting yourself in their shoes in order to deliver the best possible care. After they've completed an internship, most students will say, I had no idea it would be this great an impact. A lot of the faculty are involved in cutting edge research and we're also involved in actionable research with the local community. Even in my freshman year, I was involved in research within the public health department and we did various epidemiological studies. So that was a really fantastic opportunity for me. At the Lead Study, I'm an undergraduate research assistant. And the study itself is looking to correlate the idea of the lead levels in children in the Syracuse community and how that affects their cardiovascular health. Some of our students are able to travel internationally and study malaria in Zambia, for example. For my capstone, I get to work with Dr. Larson more on standardizing how they enumerate indoor residual spray, which is an intervention for malaria. I just love getting to have a hand in that Why I'm, I'm just an undergrad. This is what I say nowadays, public health is everything. The community is the agenda. That's our reason for being there. But we also want to empower our community and educate our community to ensure that they're healthy.